So I'm Joe the Hacker from Reformed IT. Today I wanted to do a demonstration of a two-factor authentication bypass, a security bypass, which I've demonstrated before around about 18 months ago. This time I'm going to demonstrate it using LinkedIn. So what this is all about is you'll have been told by security professionals such as myself that it's really important to have two-factor authentication enabled on your accounts on every account you have so including linkedin office 365 amazon google everything have two-factor problem is that a couple of years ago and more there's been a technique that hackers can use to get around two-factor authentication so that even if you have two-factor authentication enabled this bypass trick allows them to get access to your account so they get the username the password and also they can bypass the two-factor authentication authentication mechanism as well. That's what I'm going to be demonstrating for you now during this video. Okay, so on the left of my screen now is a really good phishing email that I've created. Sending this to a hacker's target would make them think that two-factor authentication has been disabled on their account or that something else suspicious has happened. You should always hover over links in emails and have a look at the address that the link is actually taking you to. In this case, when we hover over it, the address looks believable. It says linked-in.uk. And although that this is very similar to the address that LinkedIn use, their real address is actually linkedin.com. So I've just registered this address so that it looks really similar and it will make people believe that this email is genuine. Remember that the bad guys will do this too. It makes it really difficult to spot a dodgy email. Then when the victim clicks this link uh, to reset their password because they think they're now worried that their account has been breached, it brings up the LinkedIn homepage to sign in. So on the left hand side of the screen now you can see me typing in uh, a username and password into what looks very much like the LinkedIn uh, website. And on the right hand side you can see a hacking server. Now while we're signing in, this site is actually LinkedIn. So when we hit sign in, you can see that it asks for the two-factor authentication verification code, which I'm just going to grab from my app. And we're pasting this here in. And typically this would stop a hacker from getting access to the account because only you would know that code. On the right hand side now, you can see that the hacker has managed to steal the username and password and something called a token and the victim has been redirected to a random LinkedIn page. This is just to cause confusion and to distract them away from the fact that they haven't actually been able to sign in. As you can see, if we go back to the LinkedIn page, at the moment we're not signed in at all and the sign-in request is asked again. But as the hacker, we've managed to capture not only the username and password, but what's known as a session. And a session basically means that when somebody signs in through a web browser, it will hold on to the fact that that device is logged on so that you don't have to keep signing in every time you go back to the page. That's why you can stay on Facebook or LinkedIn for several days within one browser. Now, what I'm demonstrating here with the on the right hand side of the screen is that the hacker is then able to look at your session that it's managed to steal and we've stolen the username and password which you can see is really really strong password exclamation point exclamation point but more importantly we have this bit of text here which is actually that session cookie and as you can see we're not currently signed into LinkedIn on the left using Chrome and I'm going to import that information we've copied as the hacker uh, and I've pasted that into the browser and all of a sudden without needing the username or password or the two-factor authentication code I'm now then able to get access to uh, the victim's account and from there I could then go and look at their instant messaging I could send messages to a third party as the victim to try and encourage somebody else to follow that link and then also steal their account details and break into their account as well. 
as you can see, I've got full access to the account. Uh, I can now go in and disable two-factor authentication if I wanted to. Uh, changing password I could do because I've stolen the password as well. So that just kind of shows you that you can defeat the two-factor authentication mechanism in LinkedIn and other applications and bypass it completely. So what can we learn from this and what can we do differently? Well, the reality is the attackers, the hackers are always going to be one step ahead of everybody else. They're always looking for a way in. What this attack shows and what this two-factor authentication bypass proves is that even when you take additional security steps, you have to have your wits about you. Clicking on links in emails is when you don't know who it's coming from. And even when you do, if it looks suspicious, you have to be very careful about what you click on. If you get a password verification email or something prompting you to do something with a link, try going directly to the website that you know and signing in directly and check your notifications on there rather than thinking that the link is the right way to do it. So user education and user awareness on cybersecurity is vitally important. I'm available for cybersecurity presentations for businesses to help educate employees about the threats that are out there by hackers. And I can help change the mindset of the people within the organization to be more suspicious uh, and more careful when it comes to things that they're doing on the computers to help to prevent your organization from suffering from a breach through the human element. You can reach me and see more of my presentations on joethehacker.com and also keep an eye on the Reformed IT LinkedIn and Facebook pages where we often share lots of tips on cybersecurity. Thank you.